Flutter 3.35 is here, and it is packed with tons of great features. In this video, we will cover all the new features and updates that were introduced. With Flutter 3.35, we now have the Dart and Flutter MCP server. By providing AI tools with deeper project context, developers can enjoy a more productive coding experience, whether it's fixing runtime errors or managing dependencies. Next, the stable release of Stateful Hot Reload on the web is out. Enabled by default, simply run your Flutter web app in development mode, and you got Hot Reload support. In preparation for WebAssembly as the default web build target, Flutter now includes a dry run compilation to Wasm for every JavaScript build. This feature offers valuable insights into your app's readiness for Wasm, ensuring smoother future transitions. Accessibility takes center stage with new improvements of this new version, introducing richer semantics on the web. On the component front, the Material and Cupertino libraries have been enhanced with new additions, like drop-down menu form field and Cupertino expansion tile. For desktop platform developers, multi-window support is making strides, with foundational logic implemented for Windows and Mac OS. Finally, the experimental launch of widget previews offers a new way to visualize and test widgets in isolation without running your app. For the future, they also mention the decoupling of the Material and Cupertino from the core SDK, which has been a widely requested change from the Flutter community. You can read more in the announcement article in the description, or you can learn about MVVM with this next video.